Alright everybody, welcome to the stream. Getting ready to get started here. Today I'm going to be playing Tomb Raider 2. Uh, this is going to be an all secrets attempt, run, something like that. Uh, give me just a second. Uh, this is on PC. I'm running it through a disc. So there's certain parts where like things load that it may stutter a little bit. That's because it's on a disc and not on the computer itself. Whoops, what did I hit? Or maybe it's just going to a cutscene or something. Demo mode. Demo mode is what it is. Um, anyway, this is. I'm going to try to get all the secrets. I've played this game when I was younger. Um, before Tomb Raider 3 came out, but not immediately at the launch of it, I played this. Hey Autumn, what's up? You have kittens, and you don't know where they are. That's not a metaphor for something, is it? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get all the secrets. I know where all the secrets are on the first three levels. Keeps going into demo mode. I know where all the secrets are in the first three levels, and I have an idea where they are on Opera House. Um, so hopefully I don't miss those. I'm not sure how far I'll get. <laughs> it's not a metaphor. Well, how do you not know where your kittens are? Did you... Are they running around the house, or... Are you really just looking for your kittens? See, I was on Opera House in the other one. Uh, whenever this is up, the cutscenes are up, I literally can't see chat or anything on my other screen. So, just something to keep in mind whenever these screens up. Because this is full screen on my main monitor, even though it doesn't show up like that on the screen. This is a little box in the screen. I couldn't figure out how to get it any other way to work correctly. It's Troy Cat gave birth to babies. You went schooling and screaming. Was that because you were excited that you got new cats or because you're freaked out that you got a bunch of new cats? And I'm actually playing this with the Xbox controller wired. So the controls are a little weird. I couldn't get the D-pad to work, so I'm using the analog for it. Um, and then, like, the triggers don't work, so my left bumper is to walk, my right bumper is to look, and then I press in on left and right joystick to do my side steps. Give me just a second. Let's see who else is in here. Uh, it says three, but I don't see who the other person is. Are you excited? Well, that's cool. Turn this back on. I also couldn't figure out a way to m make it not show my desktop when I minimize that. She trusts you, but the babies don't. I was going to say something, I can't remember what. I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, I didn't get my Xbox today. I was going to. Um, but I don't have quite as much money right now as I thought I was going to because um, uh -huh. the temp job I'm working didn't get as much. Uh, I didn't work this week like I expected. So that will be put on hold. But I have an interview tomorrow. So if that goes well, then I can still get my Xbox. But I figured I'll play through Tomb Raider. And I'm just starting over from scratch because, um, as opposed to loading the game I had, because um, I'm going to put this up on my YouTube channel afterwards, so I want the whole game to be here. If I remember correctly, I hope I don't die trying to make this jump. Yeah. Cause I thought I may. She may not jump before I get to the edge and I'd slide off. I was going to say something about the cats. Um, 
I don't have a cat myself. I'm more of a dog person, although I do like cats. <clears throat> I've had a couple cats over the years. My sister has two cats, and I like one of them a lot. And then the other one doesn't like guys. Well, doesn't like people, <laughs> but especially doesn't like men. So he runs away all the time, and he just hisses at me. Like, he might let me pet him for like two seconds, and then he just runs away. <laughs> he runs away and hisses at me and goes down the basement. But the other one's a tubby cat. Um, by tubby, I mean he's just fat. <laughs> fat and cuddly. I like him. He doesn't run away or fight back. <laughs> Calico cats. I don't know a lot about the different types of cats. Look at the sky on the stream. It's all glitched up. It's not like that on my screen. It's just on the stream. For whatever reason. Put in your chubby cat. <laughs> I guess the name is um, relative, or what's the word? Accurate. And look at that sky. It's all messed up on the stream. That's no, not. Oh, it's only at certain angles. Let's see. How do I dive again? Jump and walk. Yep. I played the beginning part of this game so much. Disabled cat? What's wrong with him? I played the beginning of this game so much because this is what the demo was back in the day. That you could get on the disc. So, uh, I played the first part of this a million times. I used to play it like every morning before I actually owned the game. Well. Stuck on a corner. He's hit by a car. I mean like disabled, do you mean like he's physically disabled? Like does he have a gimp leg or something? Or is he um... Does he have like brain issues? Or he does weird things or something? That's both my shotgun shots. Come on, Laura. Get up there. Physically disabled. He probably has a brain issue. Yeah. I had, we had a dog that had her back legs run over in the driveway. Fortunately, it didn't do any real damage. I think she limped around for a little bit, but uh, she was fine for the most part. I don't think I don't think she had any major repercussions. But yeah, she had her back legs completely run over. Didn't realize she was there. I think I she think she was coming after somebody that was like coming to the house. So it wasn't one of our vehicles. She ran up behind them when they're backing out or something. Hasn't been the brightest cat in the world. Yeah. I hear another spider. Maybe he's up there. There he is. Oh, wrong button. I may make some control errors <laughs> a little bit. Cause I'm getting used to the setup of this control. I played through Tomb Raider 1 recently for the first time on PC, but I just used the keyboard and, well, just keyboard for it. But I wanted to try this out. I couldn't figure out how to get the D-pad to work, like I said, but then I realized that the analog was already, already worked. I didn't have to program it. So I was like, oh, I guess I can use it. So once I get to the opera house and like physically get into it, is there another spider? Which I don't know if I'll get to the opera house tonight, we'll see. Uh -huh. uh, once I get to the actual opera house, um, I only know the beginning of it. So after that, then it's all going to be basically new to me. Because like I said, last time I played this game was years and years ago, when it was originally, when it was still $50 on the PlayStation. 
keep getting the look and my other button mixed up. I have to save here in a second. You know Tomb Raider 4? What do you mean? Like you know your way around it? Well, is that what you mean? So I'm going to save here. See, these are my old games, the one I was working on. So I'll just save down through here. Or were they $40? Was Tomb Raider ever $50 or was it only $40? It's like I just played through Tomb Raider 4, like I told you before, but I probably wouldn't remember my way around like the first half of the game. It was so confusing. I just ran around lost most of the time. Yeah, I think Tomb Raider used to cost fifty dollars when it was new. You bought them online for ten dollars? Yeah, but was that when they first came out? Back in like nineteen ninety? For the PlayStation? Cause yeah, you can get this game. I know you can get it online now for the PC. For like ten dollars. I don't even know where I got this disc. I probably got it at a yard sale or something, but I have like I say, I have Tomb Raider, Unfinished Business, Tomb Raider 2, two and Tomb Raider 3 all on the computer. I don't even remember where I got them. But I just have the discs of them. Yeah, that's probably why they were only $10. <laughs> yep, I paid full price. I got Tomb Raider 3 the day it came out. Well, it came out and we went looking everywhere trying to find it because I was going to get it for... I may die here. Um, you know, I want to get those shot, the ammo, but I can't ever get it and not die coming up here. Um, what was I going to say? I got Tomb Raider 3. We went and found it the day it came out. Uh, or we went looking for it, but we couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, and then we went to Toys R Us the next day and found it. Which is where we should have started in the first place. Uh, but I didn't get it until Christmas because it was my Christmas gift. So, technically had it the day it came out, but not, not exactly. Oh no, I just took a big chunk out of that. Laura, pick it up. I'm gonna die. Oh god. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, when these when Tomb Raider came out, I was I'm 28 now. When it came out, I think I was 12. Ow! I don't want to take that damage. I think I was 12 when Tomb Raider came out, which was like 94. Jeez, I surely can avoid these. Was it a gift when you got it, or was it? Just random. She thought she'd want to. Thought she'd like it. Uh -huh. Run, Laura, run! Yeah, if you notice, there's a bit of a delay there and delay there. That's because the. Uh... Whoops! Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, right here. Oh, Christmas present. Yeah. First time I saw Tomb Raider was uh, my uncle had it. My older uncle. He came over and brought his PlayStation over, um, and he played Tomb Raider, and he was on the Opera House, so that's probably why I like the Opera House the most, because that was like the original level that I saw, and where does that go down? It's probably saved. Um, I just fell in love with the game. I didn't even, so like, when I first got my PlayStation, when I finally got one myself, the first game I got on it was Tomb Raider 2. <laughs> she never played video games. Yeah, my sister never played games either. But we never had any shared video game presence. But my my first PlayStation, I got at a yard sale. I was looking for one for a long time. I think I got it at a yard sale for like a hundred dollars, ninety dollars, like that, something like that. <laughs> the T Rex character. Yeah, I didn't even know about this T Rex until later, because I didn't go down in the hole where the secret is. I didn't know about it until I uh, 
I don't think I knew about it until like I saw somebody else play it or something. Where is the hole, speaking of which? Oh, it's down here. Sharon's carrying. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to get down here without dying. So I was gonna say something else, I think. I can't remember what. So I got my first PlayStation for like ninety dollars at a yard sale. And then I went and bought Tomb Raider for it. A little while later. It wasn't immediately. I don't think I'm gonna die when I drop down here. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> Maybe that's not the way I go down there. <laughs> Maybe I have to go down the ladder. I was thinking I could get down there that way, but maybe not. The good news is the crunch is back. <laughs> so isn't there a ladder over here? Whoa. Let's see. Oh, I gotta go up. Gotta go up to go down. No. Maybe the ladder's just to come back up. Alright, so I'm gonna figure out how I'm supposed to get down here. There. But surely I'm supposed to go over that way. Was there. Maybe I can climb up there. Whoa! I actually didn't mean to drop off already. It was only about a month ago that I played this. I think I would remember. <laughs> yeah, I can go up here. Oops. I keep getting my walk and my uh -huh. look confused. Maybe I should switch those. I think I'll do that. Whoops, wrong button. Let's see. So I want walk to be this button. I'm going to look to be this button. I think that's more like the original controls. I think I think uh, L1 was the original. Whoa. I think L1 was the original look button anyway. So maybe that's why my fingers are confused. How's the audio levels on the stream? The the game's not too loud, is it? Not too loud or too quiet? Run, Laura, run! Alright, the audio levels are fine, good. Yeah, I think they were a little loud initially. turn them down a little bit. I did a little test before I started streaming. Uh -huh. Yay! Got all the goodies. Now I have to kill the T-Rexes. I hear a tiger too. I guess that's the one above me. Don't eat me! Don't eat me! The T-Rexes in this game die a lot easier than the ones in Tomb Raider 3. Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Man, I imagine this would probably freak me out as a kid. When I played the Tomb... This game in general freaked me out when I was little. I didn't even see the T-Rexes. Yeah, when I originally played this game, God, um, when I originally played this game, when it came out, I, it scared me. It could stress me out. And the Tomb Raider 3 really stressed me out <laughs> because that was a game where you couldn't save as much. The Bull in Tomb Raider 4. 
He didn't really bother me, but I didn't play the game until I was older. I imagine if I played it when I was younger, he would have freaked me out. Especially since you couldn't kill him. How do I get back up? How do I get back up? Oh, now I'm pressing the wrong buttons again. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, like you walk past the doors and you hear him hitting the doors. And then you get to the end and he busts out. You know, there's that lever there in Tomb Raider 4 when he comes out. I couldn't think I ever figured out what it did. It was just like a random lever. So I don't think it actually opened the door. I think he came out on his own. Well, there's a lot of things in that game I missed. I definitely didn't get all the secrets. But in order to make sure I get all the secrets for this game, um, I played, like I said, I played through the first three levels already, so I know where they are. But the other ones, I'm going to check where they are before I stream, just to make sure I don't miss them. I'm not going to like watch a whole play of the level, I'm just going to check specifically where the secrets are so that I know which area to look in so I don't miss them. Alright, I'm going to get back up now. And I normally wouldn't do that, but because this is not necessarily a blind playthrough, it's not my first time playing the game, I'm okay with looking up where the secrets are on stream. How do I get back up? Oh wait, I think that ladder goes all the way up, doesn't it? I don't come down here. I don't go this way at all. So, there's a possibility there'll be parts of this game that if I get stuck, I'll just ask how to do them. Because I'm not essentially missing anything, missing out on anything, because I have played the game before. Up the ladder, up the ladder. So did you see the message that I sent you, Autumn, or did you just randomly see that I was streaming? I sent you the message because I remember I told you I was going to play Tomb Raider 2, so I figured I'd let you know. Uh-oh. Yeah, I figured you would, uh... No, I just sent it to you. I thought about sending it to Vegan Megan. She watches the stream some. But no, I just sent it to you. Because I remember that you said that. Because I told you that I was going to play Tomb Raider 2. Although I guess I probably should have. <laughs> yeah, you're special. Yeah, that's why I sent it to you. Because you are special, because you come to my stream and talk and hang out. You've probably been here more than anybody else. Vegan Megan comes in sometimes and talks for a while. And like, one day Chalk came and brought some people with her. But yeah, you're the, you're the most consistent person, so that's why I messaged you. Come on, Mr. Tiger. Let's see. We're almost there. I got all the secrets, didn't I? Yep. They're so small. <laughs> it's because I'm playing this in, uh, playing it in 1080p. That's a great wall. Just your way of the, doors the audio is so delayed. <laughs> the voice. They're not anymore. So after you. Sama, you don't behave like you got the monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted. What is it with your life? 
These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then the dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. You mad at Chalk and Bob the Knob? I don't know Bob the Knob, but the why are you mad at Chalk? And fortunes of Marco Bartoli. Perhaps not just yet, then. Oh, vegan Megan. I was gonna say, why are you mad at Chalk? Aha, uh -huh. Gianni Bartelli. Via Caravelli Venice. We're good. Glad you're not with Chalk. I like Chalk stream a lot. I don't I don't know Vegan Megan outside of the fact that she came to the stream. I follow Chalk though. Doggy. Guess I should save. Since we finished a level, woohoo, on the Venice. Or I guess this is actually Bartoli's hat out. Or no, this is Venice. This is Venice, right? Not Bartoli's hat out. Yeah. I'm shooting nothing. Yeah, the joys of playing this on the uh, PC is that I do get to play it in full HD. That's pretty cool. Now I'm streaming in 720p. I downgrade it because my computer is not really strong enough. And look at that glitchiness. Uh -huh. <laughs> the flashing on the lag. See, I don't get that on my screen. Who's shooting me? Oh, that guy. All that graphical glitch you see on the stream, I don't get on the on my screen. It's just coming through on the stream for whatever reason. <laughs> Is that real life? What, because the graphics? Graphics on the game do look pretty amazing. My friend has it and I was watching him play the other day. I was like, wow. Didn't realize how good that game looked for the Xbox One. Yeah, if you're driving, video games nowadays, like environments and stuff, look real. It's just the, uh, there was random noise there. It's just when you look at character models and stuff, it's hard to make humans look completely real. That's usually, that's how you can tell it's digital. Just because humans are so organic, but man-made things like roads and buildings and things, you can make look pretty impressive inside of a video game. A guy appears somewhere. Thought maybe not. Maybe he's up here. Nope. Should be a dog coming through here, I think. I don't think there was a guy, I think it was just a dog. <clears throat> I want there to be a sprint button. I'm always like, I want to sprint, I want to sprint. <laughs> There's no sprint button in this game. So I assume you've played through Tomb Raider 2, Autumn. Have you played through it recently? Or has it been since you were a little kid? Yeah, maybe he was in the uh -huh. demo. Yeah, I think I played the demo Venice level. I don't remember. It's been a couple years. 
Yeah. It's been more than a couple for me. I hope I don't hit my head here. <laughs> Look, I haven't saved yet. I hope I don't randomly die. Alright. Oh, let's see. I gotta go out the window, don't I? Can't get over there this way. I do think this was my favorite Tomb Raider game. Followed by Tomb Raider 3. And then after that, I'd probably have to say... Um, 2013. Even though it didn't feel as much like a Tomb Raider game, I still really liked it. And then after that, I would say... Probably Tomb Raider 4. And then the original Tomb Raider. A lot of people like the original one the best, I think. Um, but, like, it's probably because that was the first one they played. Yeah, Tomb Raider 3 was really hard. At least when I was little. Playing through it a second time. Well, the second time I played through it was on PC, so I could save anywhere. And the third time I played through it, already knew where all the stuff was, so when I played it on console again, it was a lot easier for me. And I enjoyed the challenge, but last time I played through it, because I just bought it for like four dollars for my PlayStation. Let's see, am I ready to go down here yet? I think so. Well, if I'm not going down here now. Um I got it for PlayStation and we didn't play it until he was 13. I... What was I going to say? Got it for PlayStation. Oh, when I finished the game, I had like 30 save crystals or something like that. Because I was trying to conserve them. Conserve them. But the first time I played the game, like, I didn't have any save crystals. I was starved for them. So it was incredibly hard to get past those ending parts of the game. What is the go button? And why am I getting shot? I don't... I forgot that that guy came out. How do I get out of here? Let's see. I took a lot of damage there. Kinda sucked. I could go down that way, but I'm gonna take my boat. I gotta take my boat anyway. Took a lot of damage. That's annoying. I forgot that there was a guy there. I don't even have to press X, I just press forward and I go. So there's another secret down here, I believe. Yep. So that's Silver Dragon. I didn't know where it was the first time I played this. I had to look it up. So I could not find it. And the last secret's at the end of the level. Should have two now. Yep. Go! I don't remember if there's stuff in this water. So I'm gonna go look around and see. I feel like there's a health pack or something down here. Or ammo or something. Yeah, the secrets are easy in this level. When I played Tomb Raider 1, like the secret, most of the secrets in that game were incredibly easy. Especially compared to Tomb Raider 3. Tomb Raider 3 is a very difficult game. Oh, Uzi Clips. I, uh... Of course, I didn't get them all when I played it when I was a kid, but... Which is why I'm trying to get them all now. Yeah, Tomb Raider 3, you could miss secrets and stuff. Like, you go you go in certain areas and... Do I have shotgun? Not a lot. You go in certain, uh... What am I trying to say? 
like Area 51, you would drop down in the area and you, if you didn't kill the guy quick enough, you could miss the secret. I don't know if there are a lot of secrets like that in this game, if any. Do the old shoot my guns instead of using a flare trick. I used to do that as a kid too. Just run around shooting the walls to so I could see. <coughs> Swimming with the orcas? Oh yeah. Yeah, the first time I saw them I was like, are they gonna hurt me? They didn't. There was just a save crystal in there. Yeah, you would expect them to have a... Oh, there's a lever I gotta pull here. You would have thought that they would have had a boss in Area 51. Of all the places to have a boss, you'd think there would have been one in Area 51. A boss level, but there was not. Alright, I'm just gonna move my boat. Oh, come on, Laura. But I'm not going to go out there with it, so I'm going to go... I'm going to save, and then I'm going to try to go clear out some guys. And hopefully not die in the process. Guess I can save back up here again. So... I think there's a guy right here. Yep. Didn't get me. Health pack and shotgun shells. I don't remember this level 100%. The boss in the London levels? It's, uh, yeah, it was, uh, what's her name? Natla? Is that her name? Oh, that was Tomb Raider 1. Maybe, whatever her name was. There was a lady. You had to, like, climb up the. You had to climb up the buildings and she shot green stuff at you and then once you got to the top you would turn the electricity on on the catwalk and it'd kill her. Yeah, Sophia. Something like that. Yeah. So I don't remember this level 100% exactly where I have to go so I'm uh... My memory's a little rough. So I will figure it out. I know there's going to be some dogs here. I don't remember which side. Dang it. Oh, I didn't die. Uh-huh. No, this is not a... <laughs> no loads, no, uh... <laughs> You're vague. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh -huh. This is not a no loads, no mouth, no health packs run, for sure. This is just an all secrets run. It's just a playthrough with all secrets. Look at that flicker. That's annoying. Is there a guy in here? Whoops. Oh, okay. Nope, no guys in here. I hear a guy now, though. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you can help. I shouldn't need help on the first few levels anyway. Um, but if I get stuck in, like, Opera House, yeah, you're welcome to help. Let's see... Because, like I said, I have played this game before. Come on, mister. Whoop. Right in the gut. Uh huh. For this game, you are free to help. 
All right. Took care of that. Haven't gone over there yet. Oh no, I'm stuck on the boat. Lara, Lara. All that unnecessary damage. Is he still shooting me? Oh, don't walk into the mines. I was stuck on the boat. Well, this is definitely not the most efficient way to do this. <laughs> Let me try again. I gotta do this again. Maybe it won't take damage this time. Um, I want to kill this dude. Oh, why was he shooting at me? He didn't shoot at me last time. Dang it. Come here, mister. Go ahead. Eh, that's better. I only used half a health pack. Uh -huh. Didn't even get hurt. Did better the second time around. I think I can kill that guy from up here. The one that was shooting me before. It, those graphics only mess up at certain angles. I do like playing on the PC because of the fast loading times. That is one huge advantage. Alright, I'm pretty sure I can get him from up here. Maybe. Maybe. He's just sitting there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so much better. So much better. She's got some ammo for me. Uh huh. Do I have a key for this door? No. She says no. Alright, that's where the explosives are. Let's go this way. Lara. Remember the first time I played this game, it confused me so much. I was like, how did I get out of this level? I don't think I realized there was a second boat. I think I left it back. So let's see. Is this where I came in? There's a dead dude. I haven't gone this way yet. Is that way? Alright, I know I'll get something here. I thought 
thought this guy comes out. Maybe it's a different. Maybe not. Oh, what? Oh, he's over here. Stop shooting me! Jeez. Eh, I'm fine. I thought this door opened now. It's not a button over here, is there? Nope. Alright, just can't get in there yet. Now, I know there's a guy in here, so I'm going to say before I go in here. Ah! This is not the correct way to do this. <laughs> Which one is it? Oh, it's down here. Okay. That's not it. Where, where was it? That's not it. <laughs> Where's my load? Fourth one down? There we go. I had too many saves here. Oh, he's determined to get me. See, I thought this button just opens this up, but maybe it opens that other area. That opens that up. Uh -huh. Before I forget, I'll go grab the other secret. Alright, so there's one area I'm missing. I do believe. Is that door still shut? Was it over here? This is it. Ah! Meanie? Come on. You ever played, uh... <laughs> Any of the bar shot games, Autumn? Those are pretty cool games. Uh -huh. I like the first one a lot. The second one was technically a better game. Although it didn't have that... Um, just didn't have that all factor that the original one had. Just because it was more of the same. There we go, that's how we get in there. Which was this way. The Bioshock games, the Bioshock series. With the big daddies and the little sisters. <laughs> Barbershop. Bioshock. Underwater with Rapture.
Oh dear. Don't hurt me. Ow. Got the bat actually got me. Never played Bioshock? That's a pretty cool game. It's a, uh... Uh-huh. It's kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It's a first person game, but like the first one is really open ended where you can pick like which route you want to take and how you want to kill enemies and stuff. It's not a sandbox game, but it's very open ended so you don't have to do things, things in a certain order. Like each level you have to like kill so many big daddies. <clears throat> and then I think there's like other objectives and stuff. But you can pick which ones you want to go after first. And then the second one is more linear. It's just more st it's more of a just a first person shooter. But you can use um see so where am I going? I got a key out of there. What do I use this key for? Where was the lock? I was trying to remember where the lock was. She said no. Wasn't here. Anyway, they're really good games. But you could play. Um, you have what's called plasmids, so you can like shoot lightning out of one hand and then fire out of the other hand. Or you could, so you could shoot, um, you could shoot electricity at water, electrocute people in pools, or you could shoot them with ice and freeze them and then smash them with a melee weapon and shatter them, or you could light them on fire. There's all kinds of different ways you could interact. Um, so it wasn't that clock. Oh, is this one over here? So the, the first two Bioshock games took place underwater. It was an underwater city, a place called Rapture. And the third one took place up in the sky. And they all followed the uh, they all followed the same story and same universe. Um, but I think I think the second one the second one you played as Let's see, let's save them on one, two, three, four, five. The second one you played as a big daddy the whole game. So the first one you played as a person trying to kill big daddies, and then the second one you actually play as the big daddy. Uh -huh. It was kind of cool. And then the third one you play as a different character up in the sky. But they have really cool stories and stuff. The story driven first person shooters. With the added twist of being able to use all the magic and stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. I think we got all the secrets. Make sure. Yep. And all I gotta do is get my boat. Blow those up. Let me go get my other boat. And exit the level. Come on, Laura. It's kind of funny how you just drive through those boats. You didn't hang out with people who played video games? Yeah, that's all I've ever hung out with is people that play video games. Like most of my friends, I wouldn't even know them if it wasn't for video games. So we like play Halo together and stuff. Not that I have a lot of friends anyway, but in general, the people that I hang out with, I hang out, hang out with them because of video games. Yeah, Twitch is basically like 
going over to your friend's house and watching them play a game. Except for it's online. That's not the same, but it's kind of the same. See if I can do this. <laughs> that music, though. Oh, and I actually want to press the button. Did it open? Ah, I'm confusing myself. Okay, now it's open. Go, go, go! Oh, I think I was supposed to take a left there. Oh no, I'm not. I'm supposed to go here. Go! Go, 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 go! Make it, make it, make it. Woohoo! 27 minutes. Now we're in Bartoli's hideout. The first time I played this game, or for the longest time, I didn't really understand the story of this game. I didn't really know what was going on. And then I watched a speedrunner play through the game, and he explained the stories he was going, and I was like, oh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that makes sense now. Like that first guy talking in the uh, at the end of the Great Wall. Like I can understand half of what he was saying anyway. <laughs> How do you think? <laughs> story is important in games. Without story, you're like, what am I playing for? I don't even care. And you're just like playing through it for no reason. I think Tomb Raider makes a good game to play through for like Twitch because, <clears throat> um, especially if like you haven't played it before, because you're kind of trying to, you're figuring it out along with people. And that was something I always enjoyed when I was younger playing Tomb Raider games. It was like I could sit there with my friend and play it and he could help me figure out puzzles and stuff. So like if I'm playing a blind through playthrough of a game that I haven't played before and somebody's watching on Twitch and they haven't oh, I forgot about him. If somebody's watching on Twitch and they haven't played the game before and they and they want to try to help me, then like, I'd probably be fine with that because they're kind of trying to figure it out with me. But if somebody has already played the game before, I don't want them to spoil stuff for me, if that makes sense. Oh, you didn't read the rules? Yeah. Gotta read the rules. But yeah, like I said, if the other person hasn't played the game before either, then it's kind of fun because you're trying to figure it out together. Don't want to take unnecessary damage. Is he going to come out here? Is he staying there? Oh, he's coming out. This guy's sitting there. <laughs> what a moron. So, this area, I think technically speaking, 
You're not supposed to go up this way? Whoops. Uh, but you can? I believe. Yeah. The tank speed, you're not supposed to be able to go through that. But is it the Zion floor? Because we're supposed to go over there and move all that. But that's where I'm going to go. So I have to go do something over there anyway. Laura. I'm going to go get this ammo. And hit the button I got to press. <laughs> now when I play when uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider comes out then uh -huh. I want to figure stuff out on my own <clears throat> unless I just get like super stuck because sometimes I just get really stuck and frustrated I'm just like I don't know what to do I'm going to look it up I did that some on um Angel of Darkness. It took me a long time to like finally say, okay, I'm just gonna look it up. But oh, that was dumb. But I got to the point where I was like, I just can't figure this out. And it was always something really simple, as it usually is. It's just something that's hard to see. Now I can get in there. Um, already got the ammo, I think. Yeah, so I picked up the automatic pistols there. Yeah, there's no walkthrough. Yeah, that'll be a thing like with... Um, I'll show you the correct way to do this instead of climbing up there. <laughs> um, with like, oh, can't make it just like that. With, um, when Rise of the Tomb Raider comes out, like, there won't be a walkthrough. I mean, I guess there probably will be, if you, like, really look online. But, in theory, not everybody will know how to get through it because, because it's a new game. So everybody's still figuring it out. So yeah, this is the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to come over here and push this block and jump over the rail. Also, I think... There's a lever or something that opens this door. Oh, that reminds me. Hmm. Hope. There's a secret over, when I come out here, over to the right, but I don't think I can get it yet. I can kill the guy, but I can't get it yet. I think there's a lever on the other side that takes me over there. But I'm going to save at this point, just to make sure I don't miss anything. Because like once you go... There's a certain point in this level, once you get there, I don't think you can get back. Of course, I guess if it leads out to here, you can get back, so... Come on. Come back out. I didn't say shoot me, I just said come out. Alright. So I think he technically drops the other secret, or it's out there. can't get over there yet. And I tried. Like I tried jumping over to those balconies. Could not make it. When I first played this level I thought it was really cool. How you like get up in the chandeliers and stuff. I remember when I was little I couldn't figure I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go. I didn't realize I was supposed to get up on the chandeliers. So I think I looked that up online. I was like, oh, that's really cool. So, running jump. Uh. 
Stand and jump. And there should just be a stand jump in there. I think. Do the grab so I wouldn't hit my head on the wall. Should be another guy up here, I believe. Maybe he's in here. There he is. <laughs> the AI on this game is so funny. How they run around in circles. I think another guy comes through here. Uh -huh. Alright, let's go back and get that secret. Should be a lever. Right here. Which opens this up. So this is the other side of the balcony where he was. And there's the secret. Uh -huh. And shotgun ammo. Alright. Back outside. Ah. I got whipped for a while. Oh, I must have switched targets. Halfway in between. They don't have anything. Lame. So what other games have you played, Autumn? Or what are your favorite games? Oh. So this is the part where I don't think you can go back once you get here. M1, Spile 2 and 3, and Gex. Oh, I love Gex. I played Gex 2. I never played Gex 3. Although I wanted to. Yeah, Gex 2, Deep, deep Cover, Gecko. I love that game. I wrote down all the qu quotes that I could remember um, from that game. Like in a notepad. I take them to school. And then just re say them to my friend and laugh about them. I played. Oh, I played the original Crash. I bought it from somebody and played it. Um, I played a little bit of Spyro the Dragon. Never finished it though. And let's see what else did you say? South Park never played. Well, I did play some of South Park for Nintendo 64. Or maybe I didn't play it. Maybe I watched my friend play it because it was a mature game. And I wasn't allowed to play mature games at the time. Or wait, was Gex 3 Deep Cover Gecko? Maybe that was it. And Gex 2 was Enter the Gecko. Gex Enter the Gecko. That was a heck of a fun game. Maybe I'll play that on here sometime. I don't own it, but I could probably find it. I have... I can... I need to figure out how to stream my PlayStation. I have one of those old capture cards. Um... It wasn't the Dazzle, but it was the equivalent of it. Alright, let's see. What do I want to do first? I think I go out here first. So I may play that game at some time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I don't know if that was a South Park that my friend played or not, but I remembered I couldn't play it because it was a mature game. See, my favorite games, my favorite game, 
ever was Final Fantasy VII. And then after Final Fantasy VII was um, the original Halo. I had so many LAN parties with that game. I'm trying to think and not die at the same time. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy VII, original Halo, those are my two favorite games. 2014, I guess that wasn't the one I saw then, because I was young when... That was in the South Park that I saw was on Nintendo 64. I used to own a 64. I don't anymore, though. I sold it because I didn't really play it. and I was kind of getting out of gaming. Like, I knew I'd still play games, but I was like, I spend too much time with my life playing video games. So I kind of stopped for a while. But here I am, <laughs> streaming video games. Ah, where am I? Oh, I just did a <laughs> Look at any attention to where I'm going. So after um, the original Halo, then I don't know that I really had any other favorite games after that. There's a lot of games I've played. Like I've played a lot of Gears of War. Like I've played all the Halo games except for um, what was it? Uh, ODST? Never played ODST. But I played all the other Halo games. Uh, even the Halo Wars, I played the demo of. I never actually played the actual game, because I heard it wasn't that great. As far as an RTS goes. Um, played Gears of War. Played the first three of those. And I'm going to get the... Can I make that jump? Nope. Um, what was I saying? I played the first three Gears of War. did not play Judgment. I got kind of burned out after that. And then... Um, played a lot of Call, Call of Duty games. Played... I mean, I played like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, or Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3. I never owned Black Ops 2 though. And it kind of, it got really repetitive at that point. But I am going to get Gears Ultimate Edition when I get my Xbox One, and I'm getting Halo Master Chief Collection, which has all the other, has Halo 1 through 4. So I'll be streaming that, uh, multiplayer specifically. I save before I die up here. I've played a lot of different games. Uh, RTSs, I played Command & Conquer Red Alert. First time I played Command & Conquer Red Alert, I didn't know what an RTS was. So like I was trying to beat the first level and I didn't know I could actually build stuff. <laughs> and then I went over to my friend's house. He's like, "Yeah, you can use this to make buildings and this stuff." I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is so awesome!" Because like I originally played it and like I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to get through with the vehicles that I had, and I thought this game is dumb. Like, why is this game any good? Like people talked about how good it was. But then my friend showed me how they actually played it, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is an awesome game!" <laughs> so I played Command and Conquer. Then I played like I think Red Alert 2. And then I've played StarCraft. I really like StarCraft. My uncle showed me that game. And that was really hard to beat the computers with the AI. But once you could beat them, you could pretty much beat them every time. And then I have StarCraft 2, which I really enjoy, but I don't play it much. I have one StarCraft 2 video on my YouTube channel. Uh, I played one ranked game, and I won. It's got like 3,000 views or something like that. 2,000 views. Uh, let's see, I gotta go hit the... Oh, I forgot to, to do that. I assume I can still get over there. Uh, I'm gonna save up here because I may... 
I may not be able to get to the switches. I forgot that I have to hit them. I can get to this one. What was I talking about? Let's see, StarCraft. Yeah, I really like that game. Oh, it's very competitive. So, I was alright at it. When it first came out, I played it and I got. Let's see if I can make this jump. Yep. Uh, when it first came out, I played it and I played ranked and it put me in gold, I think. But, like, the. Two of the three games, they tried to cheese me. Or it was you only had to play five games. And like three of them, they tried to cheese me and it didn't work, so I won those games. So I think I ended up winning like four out of my five ranked games. And then it put me in gold. And then I lost every single game after that. Because <laughs> it wasn't really that good. I just got cheesed and I knew how to stop the cheese. So what other games have I played? Played a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. Those are what I've spent the most of my time playing. I played Crash Team Racing. I have that game for PlayStation. That's a lot of fun. It's like Mario Kart except for for PlayStation. Um wait a minute. I don't remember what I have to do. That flickering chandelier. It's added effects. I believe I just gotta go over here. Yeah, played Super Mario 64. I had my Nintendo 64. I had Super Mario. I had Mario Kart. I had Banjo Kazooie. I had Banjo Tooie. I got Banjo Tooie at a yard sale and I like never played it. Banjo Kazooie, on the other hand, do I have a key for this? Oh, I do. I should have two secrets right now. Make sure I do. Yep. Last empty save spot. Played a lot of Turok on the Nintendo 64. Uh, Turok 2. I played Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. That game scared me to death. Like, uh -huh. a lot more than Tomb Raider did when I originally played it. And then... Rage Wars I played with my friend. That was a lot of fun, but there was like a glitch that you couldn't beat one of the levels when you played it in co-op. So that was disappointing. You could be beat it if you played by yourself, I think, but not in co-op. Is there anything in this corner? No. What else did I have for 64? I had Golden Eye. That game scared me when I first played it. <laughs> that was a really good game. Golden Eye, I beat on the hardest difficulty, and I unlocked every single secret or every single cheat for the game. Now, I don't know if you played Golden Eye or not from Nintendo 64, but some of those cheats are ridiculous to try to unlock. One of them you have to play. The last one I got, I got at my first house, but like you have to speed run through the second level, which is the facility, on the hardest difficulty. You have to beat it in like a minute and 30 seconds or something like that, which is insane. Um, what was I going to say? Not you stuck on the door. I was going to say something about it. Oh, it, it was a speed run level, but you also 
there was you had to talk to a certain guy and based on RNG just random he was in like one of three different spots and he and if he wasn't in the one the one spot he needed to be in okay if he wasn't in the one spot he needed to be in then you couldn't do it like you had to start over so that that was really hard, but I did manage to get everything there was to get in that game. And then I think, like, when I went back to play the game years later, I think the save file was gone. I don't think I go this way yet, do I? I gotta go hit that other lever first. Should be able to kill these guys without getting hurt. I'm just gonna overwrite my Alpha House game. I'm almost there anyway. Come on. Oh, he walked through the door. Hacks. He walked through the door. There's only one guy left in this game. I don't know if I have enough health to get past him. Well, I could just skip the guy, but I don't want to do that. Because I'm going to play the level the way it was designed to be played. That should be enough health. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can technically skip the last guy. Uh -huh. I think there's two guys, but there's only one that really shoots me. I can skip him, but I want to do the whole... I want to play the level the right way and get the detonation key and stuff. Because I could just go in the level right now, but... That wouldn't be fun. I want to get the detonation key. Let's see. I think it's out here. I did play Mario 64. I got all the stars. I think I had a strategy guide. Because the first time I played it, uh, I borrowed it from somebody. Because I didn't own it. And I got... He let me borrow the strategy guide at the same time. I don't think there was anything under here. Nope. And then when I owned the game, I didn't. I don't think I actually beat it again. Oh, wait, maybe this is where I come last. Yeah, this is where this is. So I could just finish the level here. I just go climb up there and finish it. Oh, I need, do need to get the secret first. Anyway, so I'll go do that. Gotta get the secret before I blow up the building. Shotgun shells, lots and lots of shotgun shells. Let's see. You still there, Autumn? You don't show up on the uh, the thing. Doesn't say show anybody in here. Alright, let's go the other way. Um, this way. What time is it anyway? 10.30? Soon for an hour and a half. Let's see. Let me get over here. Head up. Head up. 
Alright, let me make sure I don't mess this up. So I'm going to save... Good enough. Now then, let me go over to that. <laughs> the music just played. Go over here, and I can get over there. And I actually can get the Uzi clips if I get on top of this building. If I go this way. You can't normally make this jump if you just go straight over. Uh, but if you notice, this part is raised up a little bit here. So it gives you... Oh, well, I didn't make it. Can I get back on the wall? Let me do this part first. No! No! Oh, gee. I may have to use a health pack. Didn't want to get hit by him. So here's the detonator key. So like I said, you could technically just... You don't have to blow up the building where I got the secret. There's going to be a guy out here. I need to save. You could just climb up and go out because of a design flaw in the game, basically. But for the sake of showing how you're supposed to do it, I'm doing this. Oh, didn't make the jump. Jeez, Laura. Yeah, there's a couple more. There's one more guy, I think. I've had forgot about him. Oh, wait. I can't get back on that, can I? I have to go all the way around. Hmm. Hmm, I don't want to go all the way around. I'm going to load my game. I need to actually make that jump. Because I don't think I can get back up here. Should be, should be good to make it. There we go. So I have to go in there and kill him again. But I wanted to come up here because I can get over there. And this is where I can get the Uzis. My hands are a little sweaty. Wipe off my controller. All right. So here's the Uzis. Uh -huh. And I think we'll use them to kill that guy. Once I get back out of here. Oh, I gotta go over. Don't let me up there. So, if I remember correctly, I can't actually jump up this way. So that's why I have to go on top of the building. It's just a little bit too high. Oh. I forgot that this was here. I didn't have to jump. Easy enough. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the key. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, I'm gonna go over a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna save here.
There's one more guy left in this level. Hopefully I can kill him without using a health pack. I don't know if I can, but hopefully I can. Just have to go back up here. Go back to the detonator switch. So, there's before. And... Oh, dang it! <laughs> That's the guy. That's the guy. Oh, I'm gonna do this again. You know, if I can get past him, I can not, I can keep from taking all that additional damage. I just need to run past him. There we go. Now I should have enough life. The guy's up on the balcony that shot me. Try this again. But before I do, let's save. Alright, so I showed you what it looks like before. Come on, Laura, jump. So that's the last guy. I think he dropped something, but you can't actually get up there and get it, I don't believe. Uh, anyway, there's the building afterwards. And so if you didn't get the secret beforehand, then you would have missed the secret. But we got it. So we're good. Now, you have to get up there. Now normally, you just climb up where that secret is, and you go right up in the top corner there and climb out. So, because the way the game was designed, they accidentally made it where you could get out before actually getting the key. But... For the sake of completion, and for anybody that hasn't seen this game, I want it to show where you're actually supposed to go and how you're supposed to do it. And right over here. That's the end of the level. Oh, wait. Gotta go this way. Now it's the end of the level. <clears throat> 32 minutes, 18 seconds. Hey, I didn't use any health packs. I managed not to use any health packs. So now we are on the Opera House. Which I'll use right here. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is get down. And I'm not going to play through this whole level. I'll probably stream to about 11, which is just 20 more minutes. I'll get basically to where I know... Um, get basically to the point to where I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <clears throat> and then I'll stop and stream more later. Uh, so there's a guy below me. I can just drop off of here. Kill him. With the grenade launcher. Grab his goodies. <laughs> grab his goodies. Laura grabbing the guy's goodies. I guess uh, I guess that'd be one way to deal with them. To grab their goodies. <laughs> of course I might like it. 
All right, so we have to go up here and hit a switch, and this opens up the other side, the area to get into. I think it's right here. Yep. So that opens that up, and then I go the rest of the way up. I don't think there's anything else over here. Let me check. Nope. nope, just a, just shut, a door, shut door, which we come back, we come up, back here, up here, I believe, I believe. Think, I think, think I come back up here, momentarily, momentarily. for now we gotta go over here so that we can get back up top. I need to go over there. Now, I don't remember if I go into that area yet or not. <clears throat> I know that over there is where I have to jump, but I'm gonna go... I'm gonna save first. I'm gonna go to this side. Drop down here. I hear the guy jumping around. jumping around. So this just so this goes, goes out back out here. here. Drops off. I'll show you. See, it just drops off out here. But. I don't remember exactly where this goes. Oh, actually, I think this is where the door is. This is where the exit is. So I have to go the other way first, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'll go up here and check. Yeah, okay, so this is where the door is, and we can't actually go through this door yet. No. Need to get the key. So... I'm just going to load my game on the other side. Quicker than walking. Alright, now i got to get over here without getting hit by this box. And I don't really know how to get in there without taking damage. At least a little bit. If I didn't get hit by him three times, I would have taken a lot less damage. Uh -huh. Oh well, this is not a no loads, no meds run, so it's not a big deal. Should be a guy out here. Yep. It's just an all secrets run. Uh -huh. Did he drop anything? I don't think so. I think there's an item back here though. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nope. nope. Okay, so now we got the key. We can get in that door. Cue music. I wonder if I can just jump here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a lot better. Random music cue that wasn't supposed to play. <laughs> Alright, so go back over here. <clears throat> Avoid getting hit by the swinging box. And head over here. So just a hop and a skip. Whoa. I didn't think I was going to make it. Alright, so back on this. Drop, 
drop. <laughs> and now we got the key so we can get in that area. Now if you just run through those, they'll actually hurt you. So you have to walk. I don't think they kill you instantaneously like if you drop on them, but they still hurt. Um, is there something over here? No, I just fall off if I go that way. I do believe. That music though. All right, these collapse. So I need to make sure I make this. You actually can go down there later. Like that's an area of the opera house that you get into later. But you don't get down there by dropping down. Can I make it? I made it. Woo -woo. They didn't make any crumbling noises when I walked over them, though. You see, they drop down. They normally make some crumbling noises. All right, there's gonna be a bunch of guys out here. I'm gonna save again real quick. Spawn some more guys. They're walking past this threshold. Should be a guy with a gun still and a dog. Who's the guy with a gun? He's around here somewhere. There's two guys with guns. Trying to stay out of range. Where's that one? He's an idiot. Guy is an idiot. Alright, let's collect all the loot. Shotgun shells. I'm going to have to get back up there. Large health pack. Uh -huh. Large medi pack. So I'm almost to the part where I don't know where I'm going. To the part where I played up too recently. Not quite. Another medi pack. Small med pack this time. And i got to get back on top. Uh, Yeah, get off the wall. Where did I go up? It was down here. I don't know if I can just climb up there or not. Yep. So did he have anything for me? Automatic pistol. Ammo. Is that what it's called? Yeah, automatic pistols. And was there one of my other guy or not? I think that was all of them. Alright, I gotta go up here anyway though. So I have to get over where this box is swinging. Now if I jump here I'll die, so I don't want to do that. I have to come all the way over to the edge here. Make sure I'm not going to get hit by it. And then do a running jump. I'm good. And there's a lever over here. Or not a lever, but a button. Now we can get in. Of course, I'm going to sit up here and shoot that guy. 
Oh, there's a guy with a gun over there. Forgot about him. Oh, he may not shoot me from behind this box. Come on, Laura. I know I can shoot him. He walks in a range. Should be able to. I'll kill him first. Oh, I want to kill him from over here. But it doesn't look like he's going to let me do that. Oh, there he goes. Dead, dead. Whoa, I'm going to hit by the box. That would be bad. More shotgun ammo and flares. I don't know that he dropped anything. Well, couldn't get in anyway, even if he did. So up here... Wait, is this where I came in? I don't think so. I think this is just a uh, dead end with spikes. So, don't go down there. I don't think... Uh, I don't think there's anything down there. I'm going to find out. I'm going to slide down backwards. Nope. Just my death. I didn't know if those spikes were lower than uh, than they looked, but they definitely were not. Okay. So we can go inside now. There's also a secret down there. See in the corner down there, but you can't get in. From here, you get over there later. I do believe. So I would just die a million times if I tried to get that way. Um, oh, and there's a bunch of spikes down here too. So don't drop on those. What if I can just like grab? Yep. But yeah, don't drop on those. Bad. So now we are pretty much in the opera house. I don't know what this does, other than turn music on. Maybe you have to hit them both to open this. See, that opens that up. So I don't know what that switch there does. Do not know what it does. It's going to be some boulders coming down here, though. And we gotta hit this button to move the grate. So now we can climb up there and get out. Or get in, rather, not out. And now I am officially in uncharted territory. I do not know. From this point on, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh -huh. I knew that guy was there, and there's a dog around this corner. That's all I know. Dogs down. That's what we got over here. No. Circuit box. Thing on the jigger. Switch. So let's see what the switch does. Hmm. Nothing. So maybe these switches. Um, if I remember correctly. I think you have to put something in these circuit boxes, and then that makes the switches do something. So same thing for that other switch up top. So 
Let's take a look around. It's a dead end here. That's where I came in. That's the thing that can fall on me. Missed. Missed. Missed me. Missed me. Okay, that didn't work. I bet this will work. <laughs> that did it. Um, nothing over there. Dark room. Is there anything in here? It's just, just a room of death. Wow. Just a room of death. Real mature. Real mature. So... There's a dude. I guess I'm gonna go down. Hey buddy. What you doing? Hey buddy. So I can go over there at some point. I'm gonna have to go that way. There's also a keyhole over there. Let's see if I can get over there. Uh, there's no way in the world I'm gonna make it, make that jump. Nope. So let's go this way. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh I jumped and hit my head, and it triggered me to fall. It made me fall, and it triggered the things. Well, since that's just a room of death, I wonder if there's another way down. I could just jump in the water. I'm gonna fall down there anyway. Oh, I guess that's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more shallow in that area. Let's try not to die when I jump in the water. There we go. This guy's probably gonna be shooting at me when I get out. Shot me once. Come here, mister. Is there someone else shooting me? Not cool, dude. Not cool. Can I get over there? Ow. Let's not die to these things. There's gonna be another one come out of here. Nope. Can I get up here? Nope. All right. Uh, looks like I can probably go over there, but I don't want to yet. I want to kill this guy. Can I get up this way?
Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. I will be using a health pack. That's for sure. Uh huh. How many health packs do I have? Thirteen and six. Let's use a small one. Whoop! Oh, I thought that dropped. That drops. Let's go take a look over here. No. So I need a key for that. I guess going down in the water. So I don't think I can make that edge. I can try. Oh, I can. So much stuff to shoot. Yeah, I didn't really expect I'd be able to get over here, but looks like I could. Now, is I supposed to? Is the real question. Is this room? I remember this room. This is where the secret is. I don't remember if I can move one of these blocks. Alright, so I gotta go down there eventually. I think, if I remember years ago, I'm going to have to end up pushing this block out. But, I have to push another block in here first. It's probably going to be that block. Then you push it on top of it, and then it lets you get back out. But, I have to go this way. Here's a key. Now I gotta remember what to do. I do know that there's a secret in this area somewhere. So I don't want to miss that. I don't know if this is going to make me slide or not. Yep. Death. Death. Not death. Let's say... Try this again. So backflip, walk forward, backflip, and then, whoop, hit my head. Backflip. There's the secret. 
I want to hit that fan. Do I want to hit that fan? It's not like protecting the secret, is it? Oh, it is. Alright, I guess I gotta turn that off. Somehow. Hmm. Can't move it that way. I guess I have to pull it. There we go, there's a button. So now I can go do that. I wonder if the fan's turned off now. Nope, it's still on. I wonder if this lever will turn off the fans. Or a switch, lever. I can get close enough to that. I think it'll kill me. Oh, I guess I can. It's just very, very close. Hi, Mr. Blade. Don't hurt me. So that is secret number one. Alright, so now we gotta move this block out. And then we have to push that one on top of it and get out. The whole purpose of coming in here was to get the key. I'm trying to remember where the other secrets are. Oh, yeah, I remember where they both are. There's the one, the gold one. And then the other one's underwater. So now that we got this here, I can push the block out. And then I can use that to get back up top. Whoa, is there a guy? I hear a guy. Can I just make this jump? Nope. I guess I have to move them. I think I can push both of them. Nope, I cannot push both of them. Dang. I don't think I can make this jump. Nope. All right. Let me move this. I'm gonna move it over. And I have to put the other one next to it. And then move it. Laura. Push, not jump. All right, let's move this block out. Now I should be able to get up there. Let's do a quick save.
Just in case this guy has a gun. He doesn't. Let's use some fun ammo. Oh heck. I could just stand here and kill him. Come back, buddy. What a moron. Alright. So I got that key. I do think I might have to go in that water anyway. Because that is the only way out. Actually, I guess technically speaking. I can do this. So that key's probably for this. I'm going to go check. But I also want to know what's in that down low. So I may just drop down there. Out of curiosity. It is the correct key. So I can go over there. But I want to see what was down in the other area. nothing. It looks like that gate opens at some point. This one here, because it's a different color. But yeah, a whole lot of nothing. There's that room I was talking about earlier. See where the ground collapsed? That's one thing I liked about the old Tomb Raider games, is the way that they kind of intertwine, whatever the word is. Inter they were interweaved on themselves. So you go to one area, you see like a gate that you couldn't see, get through, and then you'd go to the other side and you could be there. So I still haven't even gone down there yet, um, on that side of the map, or over there. So those are still areas I have to go to. But. Oh, is this? Okay, this lets me get back up there, but I don't have the item yet. I guess I can go ahead and press the button. So I'll have to go back up there eventually. Not yet, though. Alright, so I guess we are going over there. Whoa. before. Oh dear. Woo. That was a close one. There's probably nothing in here. It's probably just like that other room. There's nothing in here. It's just a trap room. Yep. Just a room of death. How rude. Alright, so, we can get over there. I want to make sure there's not a... Yeah, it's over there. I'm just going to make sure that wasn't going to land on me. Ah! Who's shooting me? Oh, there he is. Does he 
have anything for me? No. no. What a loser. I'm gonna have to use a health pack soon. So this guy has something for me. Easy clips. I wonder if that drops if I step on it. Nope. That does. Two more big tough guys with bats. Why oh, he takes a lot of shots. Thank you for the health pack. Thank you for the health pack. Um. All kinds of stuff falling. I don't think I can actually... Nope. I have to open that gate first. Don't believe I can jump that high. Nope. So I have to open the gate where I can get up there. Let's go this way then. Huh. This looks dangerous. Now it's open. Now it's open. Begin the ascent. Gotta go over there and pull that to lower the bridge, I believe. Since I already dropped that, it's not gonna get me. that lower the bridge. I do believe I should be able to just jump over there. Yep. Easy enough. Uh, I think this is a running jump. Yep. Exactly the distance I needed. Alright, let's not die to swinging bags. If I save in the slot, I wonder if I have. I wonder if I have any more up here. I do. I wonder why that one's over and this one's like that. Why they're not numbered? It's weird. It's weird that they're not numbered. Because I feel like they should be numbered. So that lowered that. So I can go down there. Can I get over there? I don't know if I can even get over there. Nope. Just down in the water. To the dark, dark depths. With the scary music. I'd be scared. Let's go this way first.
Looking, looking. Hey, it's the first circuit. Sweet. Uh huh. Relay box. Um, what was I gonna look at? Oh, let's see how many flares I have. I have 27 now. I'll be fine. Let's go check out the other area. Before I go up the ladder. Because I do believe there's more stuff over here. It's a dead end. It's not a switch. So I'd open up a door up top on the right side. And this is where the other secret is. I do know that. Okay, so I have one more secret to get. How much time have I spent on this level? 38 minutes? And... Now we gotta go back to the ladder. To get out. Which is this way? Is this where it was? Yep. Come on. Come on, Laura. Hmm. Pull out my camera a little bit. I think I'm gonna save. I wish these were numbered. I don't know why they're not numbered. It's kind of irritating. Mm. Oh, that just opened up the door to get out. So what did I get down there? Oh, I got the fuse. So, already went that way, right? Yeah. Oh, that's where I need to go. So that goes back to the area. I may just be able to get over there this way, though. Hmm. More closed doors. Not anymore. Not anymore! How did I know that was going to happen? How did I know? Alright, guess I'm using a small med pack. How many Uzi clips I have? Not as many as, of the, as I do these. Jerk. Probably nothing in here either. Oh, it was the one guy from before. That was a guy that came out before that I never killed. Because I voided this area. Um, whoa! How do I get down if we get... Well, this is where one fuse is, so I don't know if this is the one I need or if it's the other one. See if it's this one. Looks like it. What did that do? Oh, I gotta pull the lever. Hmm. Oh, I didn't get in. It's okay. Because there is a secret up here. I'm 
curious though. Let me uh I'm gonna save my game here. And I'm gonna load this game. Cause I'm curious if that relay box will work on the other switch or if it only works on this one. And so how did I get over there? I gotta go climb up. I can avoid that guy for now. So I'm gonna go over here. So I have to get all the way up there. I'm curious if you can use either one on either one. Or if you have to use a specific one for each spot. I think this is just a normal jump. So, let's go over here. Laura. Really? I can't just jump up there, can I? No. To go all the way around. Hey, at least she didn't hit her head that time. Alright. Let's try this again. Except for, I'm going to save, oh look it started numbering them again, didn't do that before. Jeez Laura. So just get in there Laura, just get in the hole. Thank you. So this is where the other thing was I wanted to see. And if it doesn't fit in here, I'll just load my game. No. Nope. Alright, well that answers that question. Alright, so here's the secret. Should be the last secret. Uh-huh. Yep, bunch of Uzi clips. I didn't mean to pull out a flare. So that was the last secret. And... Opens a door somewhere. I think there's also Uzi clips over here. Yep. Uh -huh. and this just goes back out. See if there's anything over here. Looks like I can jump up there. Wonder if I'll get hurt. Oh crap. Okay, I can't jump up there. <laughs> Whoops. Can I not go down this way? Yeah, I guess it's a dead end. I'll have to come back and hit the lever again to get down there. Uh -huh. now hopefully when I come back I can actually uh, I can still pull that lever. Like, hopefully I can call it back up. Uh-huh. Alright, how did I get over there? Where I was? Where was I? It was over there. I gotta go all the way back around again. Lame! I guess uh, the water's the quickest way. I guess this is the quickest way.
So I gotta go back around. Um, I'm hoping that when I pull that lever, the switch, it will call it back up. I think it will. We'll find out. I wanted to save there just because I keep missing that jump. So hopefully this will call it back up. Wait. I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> Never mind. I'm so confused. Ow. So where was it? Can't even remember where it was. I think it was on the second level. I think it was on... the level below me? think so let's go back over there I'm a little turned around at the moment to be honest where was it is it over here no, that just goes down there. There was... it was... it was... Where was it? Was it up top? Mm. Maybe it was all the way up top. Which means I have to go through here anyway. I'm a little bit turned around. Oh, I gotta open this up. Now I can get up there. this room. Oh, this is where the secret was. I wonder if I can just go over there and hit the switch. But technically speaking, I think this went down this way. Or this was just where the guy was, wasn't it? Well, where is the freaking ramp that goes down there? I don't even remember. Must have been on the second level. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's right next to me. Derp -a -der. All right, let's see if I can bring it back up here. Which I could have just gone that way, but come back up. Here it comes. I think. Yeah, it's coming. Hello. Get in. Going down. Should probably save.
Oh, wow. Yes. New plan. New plan. Well, that was a fail. See if you can blast him with some Uzis. You didn't get me. You didn't get me. I lived. Ha 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 ha. Give me your ammo. Uh -huh. What does that do? Uh, it takes it up so I can go down here. I'm on the other side of that thing. Yep, that's where that cage was before. So, what's down here? There's a lot of stuff down here. So that's the cage. So from the cage, let's take a right. Just follow the wall. Anything over here at all? Nope, I gotta go up the la go up that way. Go grab some air. All right, now we can go up. Hey, there's the circuit board. Uh huh. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Cool. Alright, let's go... I don't think I can get out this way. Oh, there is a ladder. But... Oh, well I can go this way. Let's see, I'm gonna go up this way anyway. But... Oh, can I? Really? She can't grab the ladder from here? I have to go all the way around? Alright. Okay, okay. I guess there's got to be a reason for the lever there. Understandable. Alright, so this will get me back up. And then... And then... Um, still going. I have to go all the way back to the entrance again, which is this way. I wonder if it's going to save like it, if it's going to number it. Did it number it? Let's see, 103. Nope, stop numbering it there. So maybe it only saves on the first few? Yep, that's what it looks like. So only the first five actually get numbered. Huh, it's odd. All right. Um, are we going out? No, we're going back. So that's what it needs to be. I don't need those out anymore.
Okay, so now we can use this on the board. Circuit board. It'll do something. And let's see what the switch does. Huh. I did not know what the switch did. Guess I'll go take a look around and find out. Assume it did something out here. There's a guy. I'm so low in life. Got you. Did he have anything for me? He did. Whoa! Uh -huh. Oh dear. Oh no, he hit me once and I died. Alright. See over there? I pulled the switch. Is he going to come out? There he is. Come out! Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to use a health pack. I mean, not necessarily because I got him that one time, but if he doesn't come out, I'm going to have to use a health pack. Got him. Nope, I hear him. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the health pack. Should be the last health pack I need. So I am getting close to the end of the level. I have all the secrets, right? Yep. <coughs> Come out. Oh yeah, now he does. Now I don't need to use a health pack. Oh well. No biggie. Uh -huh. So he came out of this door over here, right? Which... Did do anything? I guess the switch opened this door. This must be with the switch open. Ah. Don't hit me. Back. What's in your health pack? Uh huh. 
Okie dokie, let's take a look around. Nothing back here. Anything up top? Don't see anything up here. Just looking around for some goodies. Looking around for some goodies. Does not appear to be anything in here though. Unless there's something down here. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Is that a movable box? Is this? Maybe where I have to go. Let's go up here real quick. See if there's anything up here. Does that just take me back out? It just takes me back out. Hmm. It's odd. Alright, let's go to where the movable box was. Which is right here. It's a switch. made that same noise, but what did it activate is the question. I guess I should go up just to see if there's anything up there. I think that's supposed to be like it moving the curtain, maybe? Maybe that's what that noise is supposed to be. The stage curtain. This is open now. Oh, dear. Anything over here? Something. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go the other way. I'm going to go check and see. If I can actually get over here or not. I may not even be able to make that jump. Actually, I probably can't make that jump to be complete. Oh, wait, that's where I came in. The dude. What are you doing, buddy? Buddy. 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 All right. Never mind. So I can go up and I can go down. Down goes to nothing. Did he come back out? I hear him. I don't know where he is. I hear him, but... Oh well. 
It's gonna go this way. So this is above that room. What did that do? Oh, it opened that up. How do I get past this thing? That looks like a death trap and a half. You know what? I want to kill this dude. Do you have anything? No. Is this shut now? It is. Oh, he didn't have anything anyway. I just wanted to know. Alright, now how do I make this? Like that, I suppose. Oh dear. Oh! Come here, mister. Oh dear. I'm gonna die to a dog. I don't want to use a health pack. That dog did a lot of damage to me. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh my goodness, he got me. I think I'm going to use some Uzis on this guy. I don't know if I can even... Oh! Got hit by that stupid thing. Will he shoot me up here? If he doesn't shoot me up here... Surely he'll shoot me up here. That'd be too easy. Where'd you go? There he is. Where's the dogs? No man to kill him. One shot at a time. I took too much damage from that box. Ow. Give this a go. He shot me once and I died. Or the dog ate me, one or the other. Uh oh.
Got you. Uh -huh. Give me those grenades. Maybe I was supposed to use grenades on him. Oh, well, he's dead now. All right. Now then to get out of here. I don't know if there's any more guys. I hear the plane. Whoa! Got scared the bejesus out of me. Uh huh. Oh, he had ammo for me. That's good. Whoops. Um, where did I come in? This is the right way. There's a switch around here somewhere. Just don't remember where it is. Where is the switch? over here. Huh, I hear the fans. I hear the plane. I think the switch is up high, maybe. Maybe it's up here. Yep, I gotta get over there though. That would be the trick. Whoops. I should be able to avoid these. But just in case I can't. This should open the exit. Looks like it let in some buddies too. I'm going to use these because I think you get more ammo for this gun in general throughout the game. Where was he? Oh, I'm going to kill you. Taking your Uzi clips. Uh -huh. Yay! Are we over water? I think we are. There's a city. That's the end of the Opera House. <laughs> the audio was so delayed. Believe me, but it's not quite the same now, is it? Someday you will get a speeding ticket for that time, Fabio. Hey, it's just a gut feeling that um, maybe you are wrong to look there. <laughs> is your belief so fragile? It's no more direction than a simple through and out.
But he was just a disciple in this design. His death, plotting a path to be sought by the one, his son. You understand? Have faith, Fabio. Not God, Rod. We are searching the right place. I know it. I believe it, Marco. Good. Heroes, have you fixed that rail? <laughs> That's the end. Took me an hour to complete. I wonder if I can turn on subtitles. been taken away. Check out my health packs. Offshore rig. Going to save. And then I want to look and see if there was an option to turn on subtitles. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Well, that is where I'm going to stop the stream for tonight. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, when we come back, we'll be playing Offshore Rig. And like I said, I don't really remember. Uh, it's been so many years since I've played this game that it will be an exploration, just like Opera House was. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will see you all later.